Well. Folks, just like that, that is how we kick oh, off. Dude, we did it. We Bear Bears 155 alongside yeah. Studian, alongside Bryce, man. Yeah, Good to going, see man. you back, see man. You too, man. It's a pleasure. Always a pleasure to be here. It's a great time. Great place, great people. And some great games going on. Yo, we got some big pop ups. Is that for this match? Uh, no, it can't possibly be from this match yet, quite yet. So here's something that we don't see every day. Yoda Cage breaking out the DK. Yeah, I know he, he's always had a DK, but I don't think I've ever seen him whip it out in tournaments. So why why he did it, I'm not sure. Maybe. I mean, actually, I could see this matchup being really bad for Bowser Jr. <laughs> so maybe he went to the DK for that reason. Maybe he's just going for, you know, just sheer tournament experience with DK. Who knows? But it seems like it's working out for him. Could also be practice for later in the tournament. He has struggled against GWJ in the past, and we know him for that. Uh, we know him for that Rosalina and Luma. So he's gonna hey, wow. search for those kill options, looking for that stage spike with Dang, off of the dude. throw. The DK classic. Just do that cargo throw, bring him off, try to stage spike him with that down throw. It's crazy. Uh oh. Was looking for that ding dong earlier as well. I mean, Yoda Cage knows him. Some kill confirms. Oh, the yeah. question is, will punching bag? Uh, Live up to his name, or is uh, Yoda Cage going had the better, uh, the best of him yeah, taken we'll out there? Yeah. We can see punching by really capitalizing on that advantage state against heavies, dude. Especially DK, it's it's rough. It's rough for DK to kind of get back into that neutral position, get back on the stage. So punching back really took advantage of that, which is pretty sweet. Yeah, and a very good counter pick as well from punching back. Final destination after that game one loss. Oh yeah, for sure. And He's given Yoda Cage a heck of a time getting back to neutral, just not able to do it. And yeah, oh, punching bag trying to get a little fancy with his reads, yeah, not finding it there. Oh, oh my! Gosh, oh, the went, back air! Oh, we went deep! Oh my gosh, dude, that's crazy! Yeah, no, Yoda Cage, he is an absolute madman. He plays with no fear, and that's something that I respect about him. Yeah, I totally respect that. About Pun him. And Punchy Bag can't necessarily discount that. Yoda Cage will take risks that you don't necessarily see other players take. Oh, yeah, for sure. Regardless of the character. Oh, my gosh. There He's goes dunking Luma. on the Luma. No mercy. Oh, in the wow. back air. Off of the stage. Oh, my gosh. Rose is okay. Wow. He made it back. That's crazy. Credit to Punching Bag for staying with him. Oh, the ding gosh. dong. Oh, the air dodge coming out just Ooh, in time. Yo, oh, yes. Whoa. Dude, he's going crazy, dude. These forward air is just like mid stage. What a maniac. No, right, I mean, so and that's. <gasps> that, how many times throughout the doubles tournament chat did we see Yoda Cage go for that raw Bruh. F smash <laughs> as Morton? Absolutely crazy. And the back air confirms the kill. That was crazy. The past 30 seconds was freaking insane, dude. Oh my gosh. He was like, he was at a, a decent deficit. No, he really was. And like, he was just like, okay, I'm going to throw like 50 forward airs. Not, not that I'm saying it was like, you know, why well, do that? But like, he was smart. What's up? Stream. Okay. That was some absolute madness. All right, guys. Bryce, I would wish you luck, but something tells me you're not going to need it. Uh -oh. Thank you, dude. I appreciate no. It. no, I mean, hey, you know what? He's a, you're, you're a skilled player, so oh, we do uh, we do have faith in your abilities, although he is facing off against the number eight in the city, Abs. And uh, speaking what of the Philly PR.